That was an awful big risk we took. Do you think he believed us? Oh, I don't know, Babs. Uh, Vince Cardello is not always the easiest person in the world to read. One thing's for sure. He is bound to know that we really believe that Ronnie Washington's putting one over on him. I mean, we must have been the picture of desperation. It's the story of my life. You know what, though? I think you were smart not telling him that he's the prince to his face. Oh, gosh, yes, so do I. I, mean, I figured, why well, push him into a position of having to shoot me? Now, uh, all I want to be sure is that he knows that I know he's the prince without actually saying it to his face. I didn't rule out the possibility, though, that uh, he might pull out a gun or something on us any minute. Oh, no. That's not his style. I mean, he's the type that would uh, send somebody to your door with flowers and then get you when you least expect it. Yeah. I think that the chick's got a, a death wish or something, man. But I don't understand. I mean, why, why would Babs want to come back to Kingsley? Obviously, she had nothing to fear from us. Don't look at me like that, my friend. Ron... And don't speak. Your excuses are far too familiar to me. I only mention that in passing, just to remind you of the quality of work you've been doing lately. As if I needed it. <laughs> I'll tell you something, though. So you can't get away from me this time. Well, you're not going to make another move on her until I say so. Right now, we have other things that are much more important to take care of. Yeah, but Ron, she had to have a reason. I said not now. She's a risk we're going to have to take, at least for the next couple of days. Russ is, is getting closer to things. I don't want him to find out about Miriam. So I want you to contact Carpenter this afternoon. We're going to get rid of Miriam tonight. Night. Yeah, I want you to tell Carpenter to bring the 400000 to Leon's diner. Tell him to leave it in the first booth, the one nearest the door, promptly at 8 p.m. Tell him to drop the money off and leave. And spell it out to him what it'll mean if he brings the authorities in on this. All right, Don't sure. screw this one up, Lance. It's a lot riding on it. Especially for you. You see, uh, not only will it mean a nice piece of change for you, but... Uh, if things run smoothly, maybe I'll give you your old job back. Huh? Yeah? I'm looking for Harold Webster. Who's looking for him? It's me, Gene. Harold, open up. What are you doing in here? We can't be too careful about man's safety. Yeah, or Harold's either. Yeah, right. Now, what's up? Look, I've got some information here on Miriam. I want to know what you think about this. Now, there's some words here that I've circled. I want you to read those out loud. Train, ties, crossing, gate, rail, freight. Let me see that. I don't believe it. What? You catch on fast, Harold. And this little symbol down here next That's to her name? symbol of a railroad track. It sure is. What are you talking about? Look, Miriam is giving us some clues about where she's at. Let me see that. She hasn't lost her mind after all. Just the opposite. We almost overlooked that. That's a clever girl. Absolutely. Now, what do you think about all this? Well, obviously, she's telling us that she's somewhere that she can hear or, or see a train or some place that has something to do with trains. Uh -huh. uh, maybe it's an abandoned railway station or uh, a warehouse. Maybe. I don't think so, though. I still think she's at this place of Ronnie Washington's out in the country. The one I told you about? Yes, exactly. Oh, except we were so blitzed, I can't remember where it's at. Now, look, this is all guesswork right now, but I'm assuming that they're smart enough not to let her see her surroundings, right? Mm -hmm. So it's possible that through a little crack in the wall or something, that maybe she, maybe she could see 
A crossing gate. Look at these two words right above each other. Crossing gate. Yeah. I don't... That's right. That's right. I'll buy that part. But, Gene, I don't understand why you're so sure that she's still at this house. That, well, uh, I'm Ronnie not sure. Couple... I'm not sure at all. But still, I mean, they had to... She was there when they took the picture of her, and Babs recognized the music box on the mantel. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm taking a gamble here now that they think it's probably too risky to move Miriam at this time. If you think that I'm crazy or something, let me know. Say something well, no, you disagree. No, 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 no. I, I, uh... I agree it's a bit of a gamble, but, uh, no, I also agree with you. I think you got to take your best shot. Look, Babs, this is where I really need you now. I know that you've thought hard about the first time that we were there, but can you remember at all anything yeah, that yeah, could Jean, help me I'm, out? Give me a I'm way ahead of you. You know, it does seem like we stopped for a train mm -hmm. on the way there, which would fit in with all the rest of this Excellent, stuff. excellent. Now, can you remember how long it took you to get there? Hmm, I don't remember much about, you know, the trip from Ronnie's penthouse or back again. Wait, wait, now look, we've come too far to stop. Have a seat. I gotta show you something. I gotta show you something here. This is a map of Kingsley and the surrounding area. Now, how long were you in the car? Oh, I don't know, maybe an hour or no more. Well, that makes sense. I don't think he'd drive too far, not out in the country, not when his uh, business is concentrated right there in downtown. Yeah, especially if he shuttles back and forth a lot. Yeah, that he did. You know, come to think of it, I bet we weren't in the car any longer than, say, 30, 35 minutes tops. 30, 35? Okay, great. We're going to take another gamble here. Look, we're assuming that, uh, say, it's uh, a half a half hour. Now, now, what do well, you think? Now, That's about 35 remember, miles? It might be, but you got to remember that he has to fight traffic going out of town. Yeah. All right, okay, we're gonna say that 30 miles is seven inches. Now we're gonna use the place where he lives here as the center. Okay, you sweep counterclockwise, north to south, and I'll go clockwise, all right? If you see anything at all that looks like a railroad crossing or something, just scream. Here we go. No, I'm sorry, it's a uh, cloverleaf in the uh, interstate highway. Bingo, bingo. <laughs> this is it right here, this is it, look. Railroad crossing into a country road here. Yes. Isolated, be. isolated farmlands. That's perfect, that's perfect. You're right, Gene. It could no, be. No, yeah. what, no, no, no. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna search every farmhouse in the area. That's I'm what I'm gonna... with you. No, Harold, you can't do that. Now, in case I find something, I'm gonna need some contact in town. So you better stay here. You know, Gene, maybe we should just call the police. I mean, you don't know what you're getting into out there. Babs, I know these guys are supposed to be tough, but if we're barking up the wrong tree, the police might make things a lot worse for Merriman, and we don't want that now. But I tell you what you can do. Now, if I'm not back by 10 o'clock, you can give them a call. Yeah. By then, I'm going to need all the help I can get, all right? I'll see you guys later. Yeah. Oh, and all I'd say it was a very profitable morning. Well, it's kind of hard to argue with logic like this, huh? Yeah. Listen, uh, I have a question for you. One second. You all set, Lance? Yep, I'm set and ready to go. All right, I'll meet you later as, uh planned, huh? Right. The uh, good fortune smiling on Lance again? Ah, yes. Sweet fortune. Now you, uh, you had a question? Yeah. Uh, I'd like to know a little more about how the money's handled around here. I mean, I think it would you know, help me better understand uh, the overall operation. Oh, really? For instance. For instance, where does that go from here? It goes into a safe. And then? Then it goes on to the bank and on to various other holdings. It's kind of vague, isn't it? It's just a simple explanation, Russ. Everything's recorded in the books. Maybe it's time that uh, we went over some of that. How about uh, tomorrow morning? Fine. Books? As in... More than one? Just a figure of speech. Not that I disapprove, but, uh... Why this sudden interest in our finances, anyway? Oh, I don't know, this whole business with Bartlett and Greer skimming off the top. You know, I've noticed that the more the money changes hands, the more chances it has of not getting to where it's supposed to go. That's an occupational hazard among corrupt people. One I'm sure Vince wouldn't be too happy with. Me neither. Remember, when you're cheating on Vince, you're cheating on me. We're all tied in this together. Oh, that sounds lovely. Just what I needed. What? <laughs> no, no, I didn't have any plans for this evening. 
Oh, dear, maybe I shouldn't say that. Makes me sound like a predatory woman. <laughs> Just a minute, Lee. It's open. Oh, be with you in a minute, dear. Um, seven o'clock, then? Fine. Goodbye. Hi. Hello, dear. <laughs> Did I just hear you make plans for this evening? You certainly did. Oh, well. Oh, dear. Had we talked about doing something together? Oh, no, not at all. It's just that tonight's the last night for that German film we'd wanted to see. Oh, I'm sorry, Stacy. But Lee had a meeting that was canceled, and I just thought... Oh, that's all right. I understand. Will it be dinner and dancing, then? Well, most probably dinner and listening. <laughs> Lee is a horrible dancer. Mm, that's too bad. I know how much you used to enjoy that. I don't think you and Daddy ever missed a dance at the club. Well, um, things change. Well, maybe Dad's free tonight. Maybe. That, that doesn't bother you, does it? No, dear. Should it? Well, the, the fact that I just casually do things with him just the same way I do with you? Not at all. Would you like it to? Well, I must admit, I'd like his name to elicit something other than detached curiosity. He still wants to meet with you, you know? I know, dear, and uh, I've been given that a great deal of thought. And? I just don't think it would be a wise move right now, Stacy. I need more assurance that these changes in him aren't, aren't temporary. You mean his drinking, don't you? Well, partially, yes. But that isn't temporary. If you'd only see him, you'd see that for yourself. No, Stacy. I don't think that's a statement even your father would make. Only time will show whether or not these things are permanent. And as much as you'd like it otherwise, time is exactly what I'm going to give him. Now, will you give me one good reason why you can't come to dinner? Because I was there twice last week. This keeps up, I'm gonna have to start paying your board. Oh, nonsense. There you are, hon. Oh, and by the way, that prescription is a dollar and a half cheaper at the uh, Parkway Pharmacy over on 31st Street. Mm -hmm. And if it, uh, you're still having problems when that's gone, you call me back, okay? Thank you. All right. Well, Tommy, how did you know that? What? Where well, that prescription would be cheaper. Research. The Parkway charges 75 cents more for uh, tetracycline, though. That's a lot cheaper at uh, Wagner's right around the corner. And our insulin is five cents less expensive at uh, Drug Aid. And Bramer's charges way too much for just about everything. Hey, look, would you order me another case of these one inch for tomorrow? All right. Sure. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess I feel I owe it to our patients to be as cost conscious as possible. It's our finances you're really concerned about, isn't it? Yes. Our funds are just about gone. Ben and I are going to have to think of something soon. Doctor, we're ready for Mr. Donovan. Oh, thanks, Lucy. I'll put him in number one. Oh, and take in some number three sutures. I think he's going to need them after all. You forgot something. Uh, no, I'm here to see Doctor. Hi, Dave. I'm Dan. sorry. He's just about to see a patient. You'll just have to sit down and wait. Oh, would you please get out of my way? I'm sorry, no, Nancy, but really, this time, you're really going to have to wait. Uh, but I can't, Dave. I, I just... I don't, I just feel real strange. This interest of yours to put an end to corruption among the corrupt is very noble. But one would say that it's very foolish. Well, one can say whatever one likes. But I'm still going to put an end to guys like Bartlett and Greer, inflating prices and uh, our expenses. They're petty street thieves. Forget about them. If you're going on some kind of crusade, it isn't going to help the problem, you know. Some it will. If I can just make an example out of someone, it'll work. Well, happy hunting. Be forewarned, though. Your quarry is very clever. So am I. Oh, by the way, while you were in the kitchen, I made a phone call and I took the liberty of rearranging your afternoon. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I wanted to give you a little token of my appreciation for uh, the good work you've been doing. Uh, I don't get it. You will. Why don't you get that, Russ? Sure. Uh, 
Hi. I'm looking for Russ Weaver. I'm Russ. Then I'm your date, honey. You don't relax enough, kid. Yeah, well, no thanks. I'm not interested. In general, or is it uh, Lola here in particular? Hey. <laughs> and what was that all about? That was idealism that won't admit it's dead. I like the code. Thanks. You gave it to me. Yeah? Yeah. Then how about a drink, Lola? Sure. Come on, get up my table. Oh. Here, get this under her feet. I own there's some smelling salts on the cart. Right. Isn't this exciting, Doctor? Just like emergency room duty, huh? Yep, just like the good old days. I hope you're thinking like I am. I think I am. But we can't take any chances. Cases like this can be very tricky. Mm -hmm. Why don't you call an ambulance and uh, I'll get her checked into the hospital. I hope she has a lot of medical insurance. All this can be very expensive. Very expensive. Well, here's the smelling salts. Oh, well, it appears we won't need it now. <laughs> oh, I, I'm sorry. I, d I don't know what happened. I just feel so strange. We're there gonna send you is. to the hospital. Okay. We're gonna send you to the hospital now. Oh, no, 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 you can't do that. I, I, <clears throat> I, I, I didn't have something to eat. That's probably what it was. Undoubtedly, yeah. yes. Oh, well, in that case, why don't you sit there for a while until you're feeling better? I have some other patients to attend to. Oh, Lucille, would you mind waiting with the... Uh, with Nancy? Oh, it would make my day complete. <laughs> well, I own. <laughs> oh, I own. Uh, would you uh, stick your head in number one? I'll tell Mr. Donovan I'll be with him in a minute. Sure. Huh? Hi there, sunshine. Hi. Mm. Hey. <laughs> What's up? I'm sorry. This is just the way I didn't want to be. Oh. What's the trouble now? Come on. Let's uh, not keep everything bottled up, huh? Mom, she says she isn't interested in seeing you after all. Well, uh, we can't uh, waste a whole day. How about dinner later, uh, after I get off work? That's it? Y you're just going to accept it? Stacy, you know your mother. Until she decides otherwise, there's nothing I can do to change her mind. If I even tried, I wouldn't get anywhere. But you've wanted a reconciliation so badly. And I still do. Look, I know this may sound strange to you, but... But my faith is, has taught me a lot of things. Made me a, a lot of changes in my life. I believe that... That after I've prayed now, that... Well, it's all in God's hand. Hey. He'll take care of your mother's stubbornness. <laughs> Stacy. It's all going to work out. Hello? Okay, Corbin, this is going to be the last of our little chat. What, what, do you, what do you mean? What's happening? Do you want to see your daughter again? Well, of course I do. Then you shut up and listen to what i got to say, because I'm going to say it one time. First things first, you got the money? Yes, all of it, the whole, the whole 400,000. Right, no small bills? Yes, and, and no consecutive serial numbers, and that was not an easy thing for me oh, to do. Oh, oh, you pat yourself on your back on your own time, buddy. I ain't got time for it. I know it's a lot of trouble. You just be glad we didn't ask you to do anything else. The second thing is, you know a place called Leon's Diner? Uh, uh yes, that's somewhere on uh, Chestnut, isn't it? That's close. It's gonna be the 1200 block to be exact. At 8 o'clock, I want all that sum of money packed into a nice briefcase and brought into Leon's diner. Right? Yeah, all right, that's, uh, that's 8 o'clock. Now, now, how am I going to recognize you? Don't be stupid, buddy. You're not going to recognize me or anybody else, pal. Don't play games with me, man. I wouldn't. It's just that I assumed that... The, Don't uh, you assume anything. Or I'll cut this conversation off right now. All right, all right, I'm sorry. Okay, now. At 8 o'clock... You enter into Leon's diner with your little briefcase, packed with money, and you set it on the booth closest to the door. You're going to be all alone, right? Then you turn around and you go home. Then we're going to look at the briefcase. We're going to make sure all the money's there. And if it's there, we're going to call you and tell you when and where you can pick up your darling little daughter. Now, you got that? Yes, yes. Now, that's, 
Eight o'clock at Leon's, all alone. That's right. And remember this, Carpenter. No funny stuff, right? No cops, no feds, no nothing. If I see anything out of whack, I mean anything, it's gonna be your fault, and that's gonna be the end of your darling little daughter. Right? What do you mean you can't get that money? Charles, it's almost 5.30. That money is locked in a safety deposit box in the bank. The bank closed two hours ago. No, no, no. That is unacceptable, Harold. Now, if we don't make that delivery tonight, I have no doubt at all that they will kill Miriam. Charles, believe me, I understand the gravity of the situation. But short of blowing a hole in the side of the bank, I can't tell you what to do. Well, at this point, I don't mind telling you that's exactly what I'd like to do. Oh, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Uh... Herb, Sanderson. Sanderson is the president of that bank. Just get on him on the phone and he'll help us. Yes, yes, that's a good idea. I'll get on it right away. Yeah, Charles, what are you going to say to him? I don't know that! 